arbitrationagreements.org. Today, I want to chat about a concept that's gaining a lot of attention lately. Polarization in communication. Have you heard of it? If you're into alternative dispute resolution, then this topic is essential for you. Before we begin, please like this video. Press the subscribe button and tap the bell for notifications so you can keep up with crucial dispute resolution topics that can help you succeed in life. Okay, so you might be asking what exactly is polarization? In a nutshell, polarization is when individuals or groups of people move toward opposite extremes in their opinions or beliefs, making middle ground hard to achieve. It's like two magnets pushing away from each other with increasing force. In the realm of communication, this means we see more extreme views being voiced, less tolerance for differing opinions, and the increasing perception that there's a right and a wrong side to an issue. Now consider these fascinating stats. A recent study showed that about two out of three people believe that their country is more divided than ever before. Another piece of research found that 4 in 10 people have stopped talking to someone because of a political disagreement. Over 50% of people in another survey said they found it challenging to have a conversation with someone holding an opposing view. So why does this matter for alternative dispute resolution? Polarized communication can lead to more entrenched positions, reduced trust, and a decreased willingness to negotiate or find common ground. As a result, Mediators and arbitrators face the challenging task of navigating these heightened emotions and deep-seated beliefs. But here's the thing. Understanding polarization is half the battle. Being aware of this phenomenon helps us be more intentional in our communication. By recognizing when we or others are becoming polarized, we can take a step back, reassess, and aim for more constructive dialogue. And here are a few strategies to help manage polarization in conversations. 1. Actively listen. Take the time to genuinely hear the other person out. 2. Ask open-ended questions. This encourages reflection and can help de-escalate emotions. 3. Avoid labeling or categorizing. It's all too easy to put people in boxes based on their views, but this only deepens divisions. And 4. Look for common ground. There's often more shared ground than we realize. So there you have it. If you want more information about the basics of polarization, head on over to arbitration, agreements, Dot org. Also, what do you think about the concept of polarization when communicating? Does it make sense to you? Give us your opinion by leaving a comment below. Don't forget to like the video, hit the subscribe button, and ring the bell for notifications so you can stay up to date on information designed to improve your life.